So it's been 10 years since I had a family Christmas and I miss it and I know it's none of my business but I'm wondering like, what's it like for you? Christmas I mean, like what do you do? Well everybody does it different but mm. now you got me thinking like, what does it actually mean to do Christmas? Mm. Looking at it, if I take a step back, I think a real misconception is that we believe the real gifts are the presents we wrap but in fact, mm. if we allow our perspective to shift and see what really makes Christmas legit isn't the gifts mm. that we buy but the people we're with or without, far out. See, I had this vision of living and giving and mistletoe kissing and wishing I had someone I could visit that would elicit this feeling of joy in my soul. See, I desperately wanted to feel whole and I don't know if it's just that time of year when all of a sudden I care about the fact that no one's here or if there's just something in the air, but I wonder why is it that we want someone near at this time of year? Yeah, it's like we have this need to just love and be loved. Mm. Like we feel a void and we try to fill it with stuff yeah. and we compete with those we think have it better than us mm. until we get what they have but it's never enough. Yeah. I think we're made to desire something bigger than us, yeah. something more than ourselves, something deep within us, mm. something as real as the things that we see and we touch. I think deep down everybody just wants to be loved. Wow and it becomes so apparent. The fact that we're not meant to be alone. See. I feel like we all crave to have a place we can call home. It's like every one of us has this need to feel owned. See, I look after foster kids for a living and when I take them swimming, I see them point to me from the shore to show the other kids that I'm with them. And that's because they crave that thing that is missing, love. See, God never intended for us to be without family, friendship and connection. That's why He predestined for us to come into this relationship with the God of the heavens. Wow. My mind can't comprehend it, mm. but my heart gets the message. Yeah. When I was 15, I walked down a path called redemption. Mm. I received the gift of grace and love, and by faith in God, I understood the true meaning of Christmas. Wow. He said it's more blessed to give than receive, mm. and I truly believe mm. the love of God is worth more than material things. Mm. Now we're able to love because He first loved us. He placed value on us when His Son was crushed. He went to the cross and gave up His last breath for us. He was willing to taste death to connect with us. Wow, close your eyes for a moment. Let his presence surround you. Because he has found you this Christmas. Don't you see, you were the only thing on his wish list. And those sleigh bells can ring. Those carolers can sing. But the songs they sing, they're about him. And why do you think that is? It's because Jesus was the first gift. And after him, what more could we need? See, you can stack as many gifts as you like underneath that tree. There's, There's only, only one, one gift this Christmas that we need to receive. receive. His name is Jesus, and He died for you and me, and that gift is free. All we have to do is believe. believe.